Hello everyone. My name is Taiga Hiroka. In this talk, I talk about certified everlasting zero knowledge proof for QMA. In this talk, I will consider zero knowledge proof for QMA. Here, roughly speaking, QMA is a quantum version of NP. In the zero knowledge proof for QMA, the following three properties hold. The first property is completeness. This guarantees that when the instance X is this instance, the verifier accepts with high probability. The second property is statistical soundness. This guarantees that when the instance X is not this instance, the verifier rejects with high probability. For any unbounded minus prover that tries to make the verifier accept. The third property is zero knowledge. This guarantees that any malicious verifier learns nothing beyond the fact that the instance X is this instance. When the verifier is computationally bounded, we call zero knowledge property computational zero knowledge. However, computational zero knowledge has risk that a new algorithm or improvement of computers may solve the problem underlying the security of computational zero knowledge. So the computational zero knowledge does not necessarily guarantee long-term security. In other words, in computational zero knowledge, the malicious verifier may obtain information beyond the fact that the instance X is this instance in the future. This is undesirable. One way to resolve the problem is to use protocol with statistical zero knowledge. In the statistical zero knowledge, the security holds against unbounded malicious verifier. So the security will never break in the future. However, it is believed that we cannot construct a protocol with statistical soundness and statistical zero knowledge at the same time. So if the protocol satisfies statistical soundness, the knowledge property must be computational one. So our question is as follows. Can we construct the knowledge proof for QMA where the zero knowledge property holds in a long term without compromising statistical soundness? Note that this question was first raised by Broadband and Islam. In our work, we resolve this question affirmatively. For that, first, we introduce a new notion of zero knowledge property, which we call certified everlasting zero knowledge, and then construct a zero knowledge proof for QMA with statistical soundness and certified everlasting zero knowledge. Now, I will explain the intuitive definition of certified everlasting zero knowledge. In the certified everlasting zero knowledge, the malicious verifier can issue a certificate, which shows that he deletes the information received from the prover. Then, the prover can check whether the certificate is valid or not using high internal information. When the certificate is valid, even if its computing power becomes unbounded after that, he cannot obtain information beyond the fact that the instance X is this instance. This is the intuitive definition of certified everlasting zero knowledge. So in the certified everlasting zero knowledge, the security will never break in the future when the certificate is valid. Note that certified everlasting zero knowledge does not guarantee any security when the certificate is not valid. However, the prover can prevent the verifier from refusing to output a valid certificate by penalizing the malicious verifier. So, so we believe that this security is still meaningful. Now, I finished this short talk. If you are interested in our results, please come to see my talk. Thank you for listening.